Shalom. Call him like my Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double lines to the L's and the Apostles, the Great Minister of Ruel, Shalom to the 144,000, the one third remnant men, women, and children of the whole flight, Shalom. This is the brother Gabar Yash coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit of praying. How about some y'all shy prayers? Let's be at it for honest, straight to the point. Okay. And we're going to make this quick as possible as we can. Because these are the times that we're in, man. Just signs of the times, man. Okay. And this is from ZeroHinge.com. He says, what will happen when they give the green light to millions of radicals to cause widespread chaos all over Babylon? What's going to happen is, man. When they do get the green light, man, it's going to be a lot of death and a lot of judgment, okay? That's what's going to happen. So let's read a little bit of it. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Let's see how long it is. Oh, okay. I'll just read many parts of this. All right, I'm not going to read all this, okay? It says, violent and violence and crime are already completely out of control all over the United States. In fact, you definitely won't definitely wouldn't want to be caught in the streets when hoarder hordes of our longest young people are running wild. If things are this bad already, what is going to happen if the election in if the election in November does not go the way that leaders on the left want want and they give the green light to millions of radicals to cause widespread chaos all over Babylon. Okay, well, what if there is no election, period? Okay. What if there is no election? What if Biden stays in the White House? Or they take Biden out the White House and they put Kamala Harris inside the White House? We don't know. Okay. What if there is no election? Yeah, we already know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen. Locking, let me... Do this right quick. All right, I'm back now, Snarky. I had to blow my nose, man, Snarky. Every time I get ready to do a lesson, man. <laughs> oh, boy, Snarky. But like I was saying, man, what if there's no election at all, okay? What if there's no election? It's either, it's, look, either way, if there is an election, if Trump wins, it's going to be chaos. If Biden you know, Biden wins and stays in the White House, okay, and Trump doesn't win, it's still going to be chaos. It's basically a lose-lose situation, man. So either way, <laughs> it's a lose-lose situation, man, okay? So, because one side going to be pissed off at the other side, and the other side going to be pissed off at the other side, man. So basically, it's a lose-lose situation, okay? Let's get this scripture. I'm go back to it. Let's go to Isaiah 19 and 2. Cause this, this is on this is on the horizon, man. Isaiah 19 and verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what you're about to see. Okay? Because 2024 is the election year, man. Okay? And plus 2024. Which was coined by Elder Apostle Tahar, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All the signs are there, man, that this place is about to erupt in the chaos, man. So, either way, whoever wins, if there's an election or there is an election, if Biden stays in the White House or if Trump wins, look, man, it's a lose, lose, uh, sloppy. It's a lose, lose situation on either end. <laughs> Babylon, the great America, is finished, man, regardless of. How you look at it. This place is done. There's no hill in this place, man. Let's get that scripture. We're going to go back to the article. Okay. Jeremiah 51 and verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bond for her pain is so she may be healed. Verse 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up into the skies. America's judgment, the sins of this place have reached into the ears of the morning house by Shmiao Shah, man. Okay? And this place is about to be rendered judgment. Okay? Judgment is about to go forth. So either way, it's a lose-lose situation, man. On how you look at it. Okay? 
That's if we make it to November. We don't know. We just have to wait and see, man. All right, so let's go back to this article and read some more. It says, where was I? It says, I think that we got a small preview of what this could look like during the riots in 2020, which that was all staged anyway. But, you know, we ain't going to go too deep into that. Unfortunately, since that time, the open border policies of the Biden administration have allowed millions of extremely desperate people to come pouring into this country. The stage is being set for civil unrest on a scale that we have never seen before, and it certainly isn't going to take much to push our society over the edge. And exactly, because these people are on the edge, man. Okay. Like I say, all it takes is a spark, man. And hey, boom, all hell is going to break loose. This place is on the verge of a collapse, okay? Civil unrest, okay? He said, just look at what's happening in New York. Crime in the subway system is so bad that Governor Katie Hawkins has decided to call in the National Guards. <laughs> and please, National Guards ain't going to be much of a help. And look what's going on in Pennsylvania now. <laughs> yeah. Look what's going on in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, uh, look, man. Babylon is on is on the verge of collapse, man. This place is done. Okay? Look at this right here. And it says in Pittsburgh, the situation is so dire that police will no longer respond to calls involving theft, harassment, crime, criminal mischief, and burglary. Yeah. And we told you people this was going to happen. Okay. All right. It says in Oakland, crime is so bad that four out of five Taco Bell restaurants in the city have completely closed their dining rooms. Golly. Psh, damn. <laughs> damn. Now, we already know it's bad in California, man. Okay. But hey, when you want to dial 911. When the shit gets so bad, man. And that's going to not just going to be in Pennsylvania. Okay? It's going to be in all America, man. It says mass transit crime is, is also a major problem in Philadelphia. And it's being suggested that the National Guard should be deployed there, too. Damn. So, hey, it's getting bad out here, man. It's not going to get any better. Taco Bell closing. Location four out of five, so just one Taco Bell is still open, man. Damn, that is absolutely rampant in America today. All right, so hey, look, man, this place is on the verge of collapse, man. Okay, it says our country has been totally transformed at this point. Our youths are so lawless that even very young girls are committing acts of extreme violence. Hey, it's going to get worse. Early today, I came across an article about the 50 most violent cities in the world. If you can't believe it, 46 of them are actually in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah. So, hey. I'm just going to, I'm just scrolling through this. I'm reading these uh, bulletin. These are bulletin points here. It says, such extreme violence raging just across our southern borders. You would think that our leaders would be doing all that they can to keep us safe. Government don't give a fuck about you, man. <laughs> okay? Your government is allowing this. And really, the elites are allowing this to happen, man. They want order out of chaos. They want the chaos so they can bring forth the order. Okay? This is why this being done. This is all being staged, like we read at the top. Okay? We are already experiencing the crime wave of epic proportions, but I am extremely concerned about what will happen if things go a, a certain way in November. I don't know if we're going to make it to November or not. But nevertheless, man, we do. Hey, psh, we already know what's going to happen, man. We ain't got to, you know, <laughs> imagine. Let's get some more scriptures. We ain't gonna close this thing out, man. Like I said, it ain't intent for this to be long, but hey, these are the times that we're in, man. Okay? And it's not gonna get no better. It's gonna get worse. 
Jeremiah 30 and 7, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it, okay? And only the elect is going to be saved out of these times, okay? So, hey, this place is on the verge of collapse, man. It's going to be a time like no other. Excuse me. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Okay? And like I said, man, only the elect is going to be delivered. So, things are not going to get no better here in Babylon. Okay, Jeremiah 17 and 17, be not a terror unto me, thou art my hope in the day of evil. So we hoping in Yahweh Bashmi al that he keep us safe from all the things that are coming upon this place, man. Okay, we're going to need spiritual divine intervention. Okay, verse 18, let them be confounded that persecute me, but let me but let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. Okay? So, hey, two-thirds going to be killed out here. Edomites and you heathens, man. Okay? When the chaos take place. Second Israel chapter 15 verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction drive nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand. The modern day sword is the gun, man. Okay? But there's also gonna be guns, swords, all this stuff gonna be used, man. Everything. Okay? Verse 16. For there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You think National Guard going to be able to stop this? And really, what's going to happen to the National Guard? All of these National Guards, armies, recruit, all these, all these military guys, they're going to be shifted off to fight in World War III. And plus, the draft is coming back, man. Okay? People are not going to regard the police, governors, senators, none of that. When shit hits the fan. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law, checkpoints, okay? Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And this is where we're at, man, in Bible prophecy. This prophecy is about to get ready to jump out the pages, okay? We're, we're, we're damn near close, okay? So it's a high time to wake out of sleep. Be circumspect. <laughs> Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Circumspect to be looking around you about, okay? Paying attention to what's going on. Like it tells you in Proverbs 22 and 3, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. These people ain't paying attention to what's going on. That's why it's going to catch them off guard. <laughs> Ephesians 5 and 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Verse 16, redeeming the times because the days are evil. And we want to be protected from the evil days to come. Lord, yeah, Lord willing, you how right this out, man. Okay, so, uh, anything else you got? Nope, that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to end it here, man. I praise God, unless it was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications goes to you. How about Shemi Alshai? By Shemri Kakwadash is on to the next one. Shawan, Kwame Yashran, and Apopopo, Shawan.